Good morning! It's a beautiful day. Good morning! I am getting ready to go to a appointment that I have at IKEA for my closet. So I'm just going to do my makeup and head out. Nog beter. Niet elke dag. Maar deze krijg je van mij gewoon mee. Oké. Ondertekening krijg je mee. Dus je krijgt me gewoon mee. Ja. So, quick debrief on IKEA. It was a nice session. You get like this appointment. You have to pay for it. But if you order things from IKEA or the wardrobe, you'll get it back. It's only 20 euros. But I. I mean, I designed it on their website, but I just wanted to see for, you know, to be 100% sure that what I'm doing is correct. So actually, I think <laughs> I know the system <laughs> better than the lady that helped me. I mean, God bless her, but <laughs> she was so sweet. But um, I mean, that that appointment was a wasn't really there wasn't a point to it because the, the design that i made was fine and in the store i just checked like the the height of a couple of the things like the shelves and the things like that and just to make sure but that's it like just uh, that extra confirmation for myself for my peace of mind so i'm going to go ahead and order the wardrobe right now and um hopefully in like two weeks or three weeks they will be delivering it and also putting it together because we're not going to do that i mean putting just a small thing from ikea already causes so much stress and unnecessary arguments i'd rather pay for the service <laughs> i have two boxes from like home things that i ordered that i wanted to unbox with you so if you remember in one of my previous vlogs, I ordered this rich diffuser from Maris de la Maris and I fell in love with it so much. Like you, if you saw that vlog, you saw my reaction. This smells super, super nice. So actually I think this will be the scent of the house for now. So I ordered two more sizes, one for in the other restroom and one for like in the kitchen or in the um, in our bathroom, something like that. How cute. Definitely super cute. I really love the design of the little handle on the top. It looks super, super nice. I was debating between this one and the one from IKEA, but I think this one from Zara Home looks much better. I have the oats in this jar right here, so I think by next month or so I'll be buying more of the jars so I can convert 
this drawer into something a little bit more organized. Good morning! It's a beautiful day and we are going on a road trip to Epernay, France. Let's go! I'm wearing this beautiful green dress. I'll show you a clip of the whole outfit right here. Um, it is from Reformation. It is a new acquisition and I feel like a green princess in this. It just fits the body to the T. Let's do a little room tour. You have over here a little toilet area. I love, look at these beautiful wooden hooks. And the whole room is like pretty dark. That's like the whole theme of the room. With some like ambient light. It's a very cute room. It's not super big, but it's like very cozy shower right here and that's me <laughs> and that's me <laughs> nice mirror and i love this little bench like with some leather detail coffee area little fridge nice comfy bed well we are we are about to see if it's super comfy but this is what i think is super cute like a little nook area so you can do some reading or whatever coffee especially like when it's cold you might not want to go outside so you can just sit by the window and watch the views and then you have this very cute balcony area and some seats right here and this view how beautiful is this You ready? Yeah. Here we go then. Look at that. Wow. 
All right, let's do a debrief. And um, so yesterday we arrived around one ish. Yeah, one one thirty. We went for like a nice lunch at this um, place that I found just searching like on Google and it was nice we had the truffle pasta and i wanted to try fish but the, the fish was nice but the truffle pasta was like so good so i wish <laughs> i wish i had ordered that one after that we checked in at the hotel and i had planned to like go to the city center walk around but the hotel grounds are so beautiful that we decided to just stay here and chill we went on like a little hike um just to watch the surroundings then we changed and we went to the spa area they have sauna they have haman they have like all the facilities a nice pool like i we went swimming took the sun in you know had some champagne all the things that just enjoying life you know so that's what i love about a place like this it's so secluded that you don't have like many things in the area so the only option pretty much is to stay um here and just enjoy the hotel and per i i would say that that's why you also pay this much for you know to stay the night because they have quite some facilities just the whole aesthetics of the decor and the design is so my vibe so i really enjoyed staying here and then this morning we had breakfast and they have like one of the best breakfasts breakfasts that <laughs> i've had at, at a hotel they have so many different options um so yeah that was nice it's not like the the, the straightforward buffet that you get at most hotels they have like quite some variety of things and now i'm just getting ready so we can we have to check out and then we will either go to the epernay city center or the rhymes the city center there you have like two biggish um, like champagne cities in this area so we are going to explore that and then drive back home so i'll leave you with that footage um i really hope that you enjoyed this vlog that you enjoyed the scenery and just like living by curiously i love doing that with other people so i hope that you know i can bring that to you as well and if you are in the area like honestly i don't know i mean the champagne region is popular but um of course not as popular as um paris so and it's just an hour away from paris so if you're coming to paris i would say try to if it's possible in your schedule try to stay just one night here or even for a day the first time that we came here was just for a day and we went to the moet um Chandon, um winery and vineyard and you know it's nice to do that once you don't have to really do that every single time it's nice to do that once and especially at like the biggest champagne house in the world but they have so many we also went to a smaller one that's more of a you know a boutique or kind of champagne um, um vineyard which is also nice to see the contrast between like a conglomerate and something that's a little bit more local and petite and cute um so it's nice to do that but you don't have to do that every single time there are also other things that you can do in the area like you can rent a bike and just go biking there are so many hills so it's just a beautiful beautiful area to just visit if you are like coming to paris uh, if you want to get away from the busyness of the city this is like just perfect it's just being in touch with nature and just everywhere is green and the birds are singing and the bees and flowers and it's just so magical so yeah thank you so much for watching and um i'll leave you with the footage of the city whatever we decide to do in the city now thank you again and i'll see you in my next one bye Mwah.